this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown I, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we whip, we whipping them babies once you can't afford not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage did Steven Otto help Ghost James St. Patrick fake his death? Now, it's a strong possibility that he did because he's a part of the DNC and he's very powerful. The first thing we saw him do is come in and he was ready to help clean everything up with Ramona. And he came into the apartment and he was trying to talk and then he actually told the white lady to leave. And that's when he put James St. Patrick at the forefront and then he began to run for governor right so when we look at this situation we have to understand that james st patrick was in a position he was in power he could do no wrong and this guy made sure that everything happened the second time we saw him and i mean the second time we saw him flex his power we saw him walk into the feds office and fire Jacob and told Jacob to get up out of here. He told him, hey, that next call you'll be getting will be you getting up out of here. So you got to stop playing games. So when we look at somebody in a position of power like this, um, he can 1000% know more than what meets the eyes. And he can also be pulling strings behind the scenes. Now, he definitely come off as someone who believes James St. Patrick is dead. Even when Tasha was in court, he said, there we go, we got it, there's a Rico. Now, that's true. He was able to put a Rico together from that situation, but that could be the underplay for the overplay. The real thing could be him trying to hide that James is actually alive to give James a chance to recover, a chance for uh, James to come back and get healthy. And I know a lot of y'all are basically saying, hey, the only reason James' body wasn't showed because he wasn't under contract. Now, we under the assumption that James is back under contract now. Um, he was saw on the Power Book 4 set. I did a video about that. I was the first person to report that. Um, when he actually posted the ghost tribute to his story on Instagram, I was the first person to report that. So when I'm looking at it from that standpoint, he's probably back under contract, but he could have been under contract all along and just making it seem like he wasn't under contract or he wasn't in the power universe anymore in order to sell uh, the storyline. And the one reason I think about that is because he was going around doing a lot of interviews and in those interviews, some of those interviews wasn't about nothing. He was just pulling up and he was talking. And when have you ever known Omari Hardwick to pull up and just do press? He seems like a person who he understands that acting is a job and the money make him move. He's not doing nothing if it's not about the money. So when he pulls up and do a random interview, but the interview is about power, I feel like that's a disinformation interview where, you know, all right, James, we want you to go. I mean, all right, Omari, we want you to go up here. When people ask you about ghosts, you know they're going to ask you about ghosts. I want you to act like it's a discrepancy between you and us. Um, that are, all of that type of stuff, right? Um, and that helps the other storylines go along because if you don't, um, it was so much uh, noise around, is James St. Patrick alive? Was he dead? It was actually taken away from the storyline of Power Book 2 Ghosts with Tyreek. And people was watching it, but they wasn't really following. Now, if I was one of the showrunners for Power Book 2 Ghosts, I would have just let people continue to think that he was alive or dead. It, it created a bunch of conversation and now you can watch the show from a perspective of man i'm trying to see if it's any hints that he's still alive will tyreek say anything opposed to once this a, this a trick in media right when somebody says something about you good or bad depending on how bad it is but let's just say if somebody says um you can't rap the minute you go out and reply to that, it's not news anymore because you replied to it. But you could let it live for as long as it live and just before it die out or just when it die out, you can respond to it. And now you just ended up in a news cycle again for the same thing. And now that person might respond back to you 
what keeps you spinning in a news cycle. But the minute you come out and you squash a rumor or you confirm a rumor, now it's over with. They're going to move on to the next move. And that's like a little marketing trick um, that I picked up on along the way. So when we look at this situation, Steve Otto, Ott, Stephen Ott, I mean, he's OTT is his name. He's very powerful and he's 1000% in a position to pull off some trickery and help James St. Patrick hide itself. Now, to, I have a video about James St. Patrick being alive. I told y'all I have one about Ramona basically helping him. That's one of the theories. Um, I'll put that in the end screen. But another thing y'all have to understand is that um, James St. Patrick was more valuable to them alive than dead. And also, when you look at the situation, if he can come back from being dead and he can blame his shooting on somebody else, maybe even if he blame his shooting on Tate, um, Tate may not go to jail for it because it might not be no evidence, but in the eyes of the law, um, I mean, in the eyes of, 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 of the public perception, it could put Tate in a bad situation. And you have to understand that Tate already shot and killed somebody when he killed Alfonso at the robbery. So when you look at it from that standpoint, you 1000% can just paint him out to be this bad guy. And remember what he did to Ramona. It was no evidence that she slept with James St. Patrick. But as soon as he said that, he told her every interview you do from here on out, you're going to have to address that you were dealing with a murdered drug dealer. So um, it's a lot going on with that. And I think that this is another theory that could hold weight. If Ghost is alive, I believe he's alive. You may not. I won't argue with you about that because neither one of us know 100% for sure. I believe that all the context clues point to him being alive, but we just don't know. Now, um, if you on Facebook, tap into our Facebook group. It's Power Book Multiverse and Cinema. Um, I just got another four to five requests that are approved and the group is called power book multiverse and cinema salute to everybody who've been supporting me my name is at f-a-i-r-p-l-a-y underscore two three three on instagram that's fair play underscore 2333 i appreciate all that y'all have done to help me grow this channel right now the channel has been up it, it'll be four months next month that we've had this channel we got 7580 subscribers and i say we because without y'all this channel isn't possible man so appreciate all the work that y'all helped me put in in order to get this channel to where it need to be because y'all could be watching any power channel in the world but y'all here with me hey drop some suggestions in the comments of what y'all think my next video should be um whichever suggestion get the most comments or whichever suggestion get the most likes that'll be my very next video um my first matter of fact it'll be my very first video tomorrow because i want to give y'all a chance to comment and put likes and i'm gonna look through them i'm gonna keep tallies of it and i'm gonna make sure uh, matter of fact, I'll put a poll inside of the community tablet. I mean, tablet too. Uh, salute to the cinema cronies. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts episode. It's out now, written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.